All the praises and the honor goes to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shah Bahashem, Ha Kwadash, and double honors to the elder apostles and the elder bishops of Great Millstone. Honors as well to you, brethren, fellow believers of this faith, and shalom to the elect. So before I play the video, it's the video at camp, which this was the end of camp, so I was kind of doing a little more speaking. I wanted to uh, do a short commentary on it because there's a brother, Jake. I don't know who he is, but he's been coming up the last few months, a couple of weeks, maybe almost two months, and he listens. But then we start listening to what he has to say. And then he said he's a follower of GMS. He watches the elders. But then we found out that, and this is what I mean, you got to be circumspect. But according to the camp video, we went on through it for the edification. Because there's people don't have, don't understand the questions that's being answered. Like the uh, parable of Lazarus and the rich man and so forth. So we found out that he listens to Wi-Fi. He listens to... Um, he says he's against the IUIC because he's for the name. And this is why Ephesians 4 and 4 said there's one body and one doctrine, right? And real quick, um, I remember before I came into truth, at one time you can look at pe brothers' pages and see the history, right? So uh, I was following Great Millstone, but I was also following IUPK first because I was in the Comfies camp you know, for a short, short time, and I was trying to find my way, so I was listening to all camps, but I, all, I was always drawn drawn to the Apostles of Great Millstone, and then what happened was, I, th I think Elder Apostle Gabar, he saw, I think he saw it, and maybe he didn't, it was the spirit, because I saw that next video, and he was like, some of you brothers are confused, because you watch so many different camps, that it confuses you, and immediately, that night, I just erased everything, you know. I think there's another brother that follows us now. He follows he follows my channel. He was doing the same thing. And I just carried back on the message because that brings confusion. I think he was following ISBK, right? There is one body, one doctrine, one faith, one hope, right? And that's the bottom line, Ephesians 4 and 4. Paul has also said in 1 Corinthians 14, that the Lord is not an author of confusion. This brings confusion. As you see in this video, this brother is clearly confused. We don't know if he's an agent or what the hell is going on, but he's severely confused. And he waited around to the after camp. You know, he still listened to the whole thing. And you know, some of our people are just stiff neck, but we kind of went through it for the edification, right? Uh, that's all I have on that show. You know, so we got we shouldn't every, every day. day. That's got, why you see those other Israelites like Wi-Fi and all of them. They all about the law. Yeah. They all about this. Don't eat that. Don't do this. Yeah. Don't do that. Cursing out the white man, yeah. but they ain't got the spirit. Uh, they ain't got the spirit because it's all a show to them. Yes, sir. that's all it is. Yes, sir. What did your house shot say? Oh, oh. The man is fake. Uh. And so what? Did you, you want to mix uh, bread, uh, uh, fabric. Hey. Man. But the Lord wants those that are faithful. Hey. Because at the end of the day, you all sin. You got to keep the commandments to the best of our ability. Now, if somebody sins, it shouldn't be because you purposely had the mindset that I'm going to go against what the Most High said. Right. No, that's not. You know what I'm saying? You try your best. Is the law going to save you? Yes or no? Without faith, no. I'm just saying, is the law going to say By itself, no, it's not. Okay. That's the point. Hey. Go ahead, brother. Here we go to the uh, Sabbath, right? What's the, what's the Sabbath day? The Sabbath day of the week. How do you know that? Did the scriptures say it's the seventh day hey, of the week? What's the seventh day of the week? Well, we would know it, you know, as what they call Saturday. No, that's the Gregorian calendar. The Julian and the Gregorian the calendar. The Gregorian calendar say that Sunday is the seventh day. The, right. Right. Are we under the Gregorian calendar? Yeah. Are we supposed to follow the Gregorian That's calendar? That's why we go by the seventh day and not their calendar saying what that is the, the seventh, seventh day? day is so called Sunday. What is the seventh day? You think it's Saturday? 
Yeah. How's that? Is that in the Bible? You got to show me Saturday in the Bible. Well, of we'll course, none that, of the, that doctrine. Well, he said not to mention the names of false gods too. So all the days of the week go back to how do you know? Gods how do you know that Saturday is the seventh day of the week? If you can't determine the first day of the week, because in the ancient because times, the first day is what we know as Sunday. Okay. Now, in the ancient times, did they have Sunday? Yeah. Okay. So what did they use to determine the first day of the week? The uh, more uh, calendar. That's what you're supposed to go on. You're not supposed to go on the Gregorian calendar. So the seventh day in this society is Saturday, but you know why? Because on Sunday, that was supposed to be the day of, of rest, uh -huh. but that's the beginning of the actual week, right? So they made it Saturday, but they told us Sunday. Sunday's after the sun. Saturday's after Saturn. And you just said we're not supposed to follow any other worship of the other gods. Saturn is the other the god of the god of Saturn. So there's no such thing as a Saturday in the Bible, being the seventh day of the week. Aren't we supposed to? You just said, aren't we supposed to follow the law to the best of our ability? So if you can follow it according to the new moon, why won't you follow it to the new moon? That's what I do follow. Uh, and <laughs> the news. let everything be fully persuaded. If I can say, uh, if you are of the elect, there's nothing that you can do to change that. You got that right, of course. Nothing of course. that you can do to fix that or, 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 or take that away from you. If you are of the elect and you wear mixed fabrics, that's because the Lord told you. That, that means, let me say this, brother. Really, you're kind of being rebellious. Yeah, you are, you are being rebellious. You're being rebellious. The scripture says in Ecclesiastes 5, when y'all come in the servant and come to the house of the Lord, keep that foot, man. And be more ready to hear to give a sacrifice of foods. You know, I noticed that like every other week, you come up, you got these questions and murmurings. You know, and I'll tell you straight up, man, that's going on, man. Well, I mean, you you are with us or you against us, man. That's a, you don't have to be this. I want keep coming down here, <laughs> Man, but you always got these murmuring questions, right? And you even, it's for edification. Or you don't believe in the truth, man. You're either with us or you're not. That's what Yahweh Shah said. And them men came and asked, get Matthew 13 and 9 real quick. And Matthew 13 and 9. Brothers got to be on point with that, man. Okay. We, got, we see all kinds of Jake come down here with all these questions and shit, man. Yeah. And, and you ever going to listen? I can't speak for, or not, man. I can't speak for nobody else, right? My questions are for my own edification. You so we because got you learn. You don't come up here and challenge us, man. I'm not sure. If you do, we're going to cut you with the scriptures every time, man. If, if you say that you've been listening to GMS for a while, for a lot of the stuff that you say, or you've been GMS has a foot goal state. You know, I, I say this from my perspective, you know, Great Millstone, we don't teach to wear surf bridges. You know, you, you see brothers, we got garments down to the foot now. Five grapes, right? This is just an act of faith, right? Because back then, you know, we would have had garments that looked like this. What did Yahweh say? Then, then, then the angel come to John and said he wore a garment down to the foot? Right, right. The scripture says that there be no dissimulation amongst you. Uh -huh. right. I wouldn't be a loving brother if I didn't get on you, That's man. Right. Uh, uh, not correct you. Get that real quick, Matthew 13 and 9. Matthew chapter 13, verse 9. Here we go. Murmurs about this and don't do that and do this and do that. Just... Pray to the Lord and let the Lord feed you the truth, man. Yeah. Go ahead. Matthew chapter 13, verse 9. Who have ears to hear, let them hear. And, this, and the disciples uh, came and said unto him, Why speakest thou unto them in parables? Right? He answered and said unto them, Because it is given unto you to know the mysteries of the kingdom of heaven. A mystery everybody ain't going to get. It's a secret. It's only for those that are initiated. Okay, go ahead. But to them, it is not given. Was, was Jesus the one you saw? Go ahead, brother. You break it down. I was going to say that uh, so there are certain things on the right hand side that we do, right? When you come into this thing, certain people will look at it and be like, oh, I don't know. I don't agree with that. You know? See, that's, that's because it's not for you. You know? When we do things, man, the left hand side do, do certain things. People think that that's okay. You know? The Lord, the Lord, if he wanted to speak plainly to people, man, he would have just spoke plainly to people, man. But it's not for everybody. 
Okay, this is a secret thing. This is something that you have to initiate. You have to be initiated in, right? Now, technically, we are kind of gatekeepers. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? We determine whether brothers cross over through the spirit of the Lord. Because he put the spirit on brothers to say, okay, that brother is ready to cross over. Yeah, this you know? brother right here, he had some questions, but he kind of like, all right, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to just take it in, man. That's, yeah, somebody get Hebrews 11 and 1 real quick. Because so like, if we're able to look at certain jakes, man, and see whether, oh, yeah, this brother may need a little bit of help. You know what I'm saying? It might have, you know what I'm saying? Out of, out of, we're not lords over the Lord's flock. You know what I'm saying? We're supposed to be in samples. None of us are up here are over righteous or any, in any right. regards, man. Or, or even trying to be over wicked. You know? That's not in our mind or in our spirit. You know? But at the same time, it's been set up as leaders of the camp. We have to be able to judge righteous and say, okay, you know, this brother. We're going a little bit too much. While we seek to be justified by Mashiach, we ourselves also are found sinners. It's therefore Mashiach, the ministers of sin, God forbid. Uh, keep going. You know, that's why a lot of Israelites come against us. Because we say things contrary to what they what they teach. Hey! That's why IUIC is so pissed off. Because all they keep talking about is the laws and the commandments. But the main thing is the faith. Yeah, keep the laws. Awful is, is like you said earlier, it's faith. You know what I'm saying? You gotta have faith, man. Right. Say, I the elders, you gotta do it with for them. <laughs> well, well, hey, I, I'll say this, right? That back door before the year 2000, right? <laughs> yeah. They, they said that the uh, Babylon was gonna get destroyed in 2000, right? Mm -hmm. You had a lot uh -huh. of people that fell out. Uh huh. And then, and then even to this day, talk about that day, false prophets uh -huh. and stuff like uh -huh. that, right? Uh -huh. Right? But yep, it says through faith we understand the, that the world that our work were framed by the by the word of God. Yay! It says so that things so that things which are seen were were not made of things which do appear. By faith, Abel offered unto unto the most high yes. a, a more excellent sacrifice than Cain, <laughs> by by which he obtained witness. Yeah, that, that he was that he was righteous, right? Most high testifying of, of his gifts and, and by it he being dead yet speaking. Yeah, I mean you go on in there and talk about Abraham and uh, uh Isaac when he's about to offer up Isaac right ah! for a sacrifice. If you remember this? Yeah, ah! that's a that's a spiritual thing. Ah! That was bigger than the law. That was the Lord told him go sacrifice your son. And, the, and what does the law say? Eh, thou shalt not sacrifice kill. Yeah. Eh. Had a lot of men, man, that was like that. Sacrifices on site. Uh, um, what's that? Uh, Jephthah. Sacrifices on daughter. Hey, what did his daughter do? Apparently, she had to do something. Hey, as a right, right. She hasn't been in some witch me baby the life before. Yeah. And the Lord set her up to get burnt. But the bottom line is, it's what the Lord said. Hey. The Lord don't need us to do a damn thing. Yeah. It's what he wants us to do. Yeah. It's outside of the law. Tell, tell. What's uh, the bottom line is the law is not going to be. You need the law. Everybody needs laws. Mm -hmm. I'm not even. I want to right. out there in YouTube land to think it ain't about the law. Facts. You definitely need the law. Facts. You need the commandments. Facts. What we're trying to say is it's bigger than that. You got that right. You're going to need a revelation to attend. You got that right. <laughs> <laughs> when he says, that right. the devil shall cast some of you into prison. And what did he say? Be faithful unto death. Ah! Now, you get locked up on that day, you got your gum at your fringes. You think you're going to be wearing that in the prison? What is some, say it's the Sabbath day. Well, say it's the Passover, that day we in the, we in the, in the prison. You think they're going to let us keep the Passover holy? You think they're going to let us strike the lamb? Or the doorpost in the cell. Huh. You know what I'm saying? Huh. God, I don't eat this, God. Yeah. <laughs> you change this this meal. Like huh. <laughs> Romans 9 and uh, was it 12. The Lord will have mercy on whom he has mercy. mercy on. When Yahweh cut some Pharisees out in the temple, they were lawgivers. They was all about the law. And the Lord was calling them hypocrites. Mm -hmm. Think about that. Mm -hmm. 
you can pass sea and land and make one cross of life, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. you're, you're like a sepulcher, beautiful on the outside, inside dead men's bones. Mm -hmm. Matthew 23 cuts that all up. Those guys, that's IUIC. That's that IUIC shit, man. They're beautiful on the outside. They got the law. They're standing there. Rest of nothing, yo. And they're running and shit like that. The Lord don't care about that. No! Right, that's 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 the whole thing, right? When did Yahweh ever command us to march? And they try to give themselves a license to sin, right? No, that's God. it. This is yep. a, to me. Lord, Lord, shall, in, shall enter into the kingdom of heaven. You know, you know what that means? Who knows that means? That's simple, but how simple is it? Everybody says, Lord, Lord, so not into the kingdom. What's that mean? Don't that, some of them will go off, though. Let me say that. Don't that also goes along with not the hearers of the word shall be justified. Yeah, but the doers. The doers talking about James. Somebody should be yeah, so, the right. the word. so them people that say, Lord, Lord, that's not going to make it. They obviously not doers of the word. Yeah, yeah. Well, you just never know. In their mind, they believe they are doers of the right. word. I'm saying in their mind. Right. Their mind. To us, we know they're not doers of the word, but it's the trick bag the Lord got. That's today. right. You know, he might like Bishop Nathaniel. He said he's a doer of the word, mm -hmm. and it looks like he's a doer of the word. Mm -hmm. Is he not following the laws and wearing the purple and gold and doing the videos? But he's not even calling on the Messiah. Exactly. exactly. Who is the word? <laughs> Only the elect will be a doer and That's a hearer right. of the word of That's the Lord. Right. Oh. But other people will think so they're Jews and the hearers of the word. But remember, listen to what it says in context. Not anyone who to me says, Lord, Lord, meaning a leader. That's why we go to Matthew 13 and 9 when he was talking to them in parables because it wasn't meant for them to get. It's only meant for his elect. Oh, and that's the bottom line. Oh, facts. A brother from facts. I heard a brother from WFI say something that really had me thinking like man that's 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 deep right he said that the heavenly father can take you out of the truth like he can remove your name from the book of life and you still going out prophesying and you from saying doing the bang and you don't even know that your name got that's a lie for a uh, move oh, it, is. it is it is Cause that's your name that's that's book that's of life that's is gonna be there. Yeah, that means your name was never in the book. Of life. Don't you have names that's yeah. that's uh that's uh blotted out too? Your name was never in the book of life. That's period. If you look, the Lord said he knew you from the beginning. What it means about the name being blotted out is when you thought you was gonna be a man of the Lord and you were blotted out. But if you are the elect, that's like saying the Lord don't. It's not decisive. He doesn't yeah, know right. how good wrote him, but nah, he ain't doing good. Let me right. judge him out of the book of life. Yeah. Now, nah, it's either you are a man of the Lord, either you are the elect. Remember, he said, I know you from the womb. Somebody pull that up. Jeremiah five, uh, 1. Jeremiah 1 and 1, right? 1 and 5. 1 and 5. I just read that the other day. The Lord already knows who his elect is. Yeah. Them yeah. guys, they talk so much okay. and they go too deep and they fucking drown, man. Go ahead. Dr. Jeremiah, one and five. Here we go. It says, before I formed thee in the valley, I knew thee. And before thou camest forth out of the womb, I sanctified thee, and I ordained thee mm. a prophet unto the nation. Mm -hmm. Before you was even born. Oh, oh man. They said that in Romans 9 and 10 with Jacob and Esau. Yeah. They ain't done good or bad, but the election might stand. Mm. When the Lord uh, created the earth. Mm. Right the elect, window. Yeah. The elect knew when the, the Lord knew who the elect was from day one. Oh, that's right. saying that's in the He said before any second as it said before any tree. And I said before any plant. And I said before all oh, and he said before the winds of the earth was to be. Woo! I said he already knew <laughs> who's cho who chosen seed was number one, but who the elected. And them guys ain't coming up under the right elders. That's their goddamn problem. They they, they kind of think that the Lord. Uh, making up his mind and he's indecisive and what he's doing. Go ahead, brother. This is Romans chapter 8, and I'm going to start at 28 and I'm read verse 30. It says, We know that all things work together for good to them that love the Heavenly Father, to them who are called 
yeah, to them who are the called according to his purpose. For whom he did foreknow, he also did predestinate to be conformed to the image of his son, that he might be the firstborn among many brethren. Moreover, whom he did predestinate, them he also called, and whom he called, them he also justified, and, and whom he justified. Oh, That's kind of fucked up when you think about it. What about yeah, if the Lord wanted that? True. Right. All right. So what about what about the lake of fire that the missiles are going to create? Mm -hmm. The people that got you know caught in those missiles, what they're going to have the ability to leave here and go somewhere else, or they're going to burn forever here? Get Romans eleven today. You talking about the Israelites? No, I'm talking about just the, the people. They the gonna burn people, forever here. The people in the hole that get. Devour it. That's an IUIC doctor. Okay, so hey, right, right. you got a cousin that's IUIC, but you seem more closer than this. <laughs> hey, because he, you know, is he you know with him is you know, it's kind of like a lose lose. You know, he think he got all the answers and he only want to listen to what you know the uh, manual say. So I said, all right, well, it's nothing I can say no more. It's, it, it, it ain't oh, not, you, got, well, you gotta seek your own salvation. Right, right. That's true. I, right. I get that. Mm -hmm. But the Lord is going to bring you back with your loved ones, man. Yeah. That, they get that scripture out Daniel 12 and 10. Many shall be pure, fair, and white. None of the, uh, what does it say that? Uh, none of the way. Uh, no, the other one. Yeah. Uh, Daniel 12 and 3. So, many shall wake to a righteous. And uh, uh, so everlasting. Yeah, that everlasting is a period of time. They don't mean everlasting. Did you get it? What's the one? Uh, Romans 11. Oh, yeah, 1126. 1126. Here we go. Now, this is for the Israelites. And somebody hold Hebrews 8 real quick, and we're going to show you real quick. This is Romans 11 and 26. Here we go. It says, and so all Israel shall be saved. Wait a minute. All Israel? Or is Bishop Nathaniel talking about it's only the elect? Hold it right there. Hebrews 8. Let's see what it says. Now, I know you read this. You've been in the truth long enough. All right. For finding fault with them, he said, Behold, the days come, saith the Lord, when I will make a new covenant with the house of Israel and, oh, it's, it's, it's going, they say, and with the house of Jews. Right. Yeah. So what it means when it says the house? Now, this group, IUIC, teach we already a new covenant. That's so they can teach the hell doctrine. So you can't keep reincarnation you can't believe in Romans eleven twenty six if you believe in hell. So it's a contradiction. What does it mean when it says the house of Israel? Well, Who's that? Twelve tribes. It's talking about everybody. All twelve tribes. Oh, wait a minute. I thought they're going to be burning in hell. But can't read. Uh, oh. uh, verse nine. It says, "Not according to the covenant that I have made with their fathers in the day that I, when I took them by the hand to lead them out of the land of Egypt." Because they could say you not by covenant. Here's the point. And, re and I regarded them not saved the Lord. Here we go. Well, this is the covenant that I will make with the house of Israel after those days. Here we go. Save the Lord. This is the point. I will put I will put my laws into their in, into their mind. Wait a minute. If we already got the laws, then who the hell is he gonna put the laws into? <laughs> <laughs> you see what I'm saying? Yeah. That means everybody that's born and come back, yeah. they will have the law. Get to the last part. <laughs> they should not teach every man. Uh, verse 11. And they shall not teach every man his neighbor. So wait a minute. If only the righteous was coming, how would I, they not teach every man his neighbor? That means they would have to be retaught all over again. And that would have to be a group of people that's being retaught all over again. Right. So when it says the house of Israel, remember the Lord loves all his Israelites. All of Israel going to be delivered. I mean, uh, going to come in the kingdom. Eventually. And if your mother's not in the truth, your grandma's not in the truth, she may come back as your daughter or yeah. one of the brothers. I mean, out of one of, the, one of your lineages, your family lines, your yeah. family lines she's going to so come back. Is that that uh, thousand years uh, 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 after we reign for that thousand years, then the ones that didn't make it is going to have the chance to come in after that thousand years? Yeah. They 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 gonna come back as children. The mm. scripture said that the Lord is gonna hasten it in our time. Yeah, that's two thousand year period, Revelation twenty one. Yeah. So so the the elect is gonna be coming back. You know. 
make the comeback is your grandchildren. Yes, sir. Uh, 16 and 19. Yes, sir. The comeback is your great grandchildren. Yes, sir. You know yeah, what I'm yeah. saying? Yes, so you all know the uh, thousand years Esau is going to be, uh, they're going to be destroyed yes, after a thousand years. But Esau is the world. Right. Yes, the world is going to be so yes sir. now when we yes, come sir. back here's the key yes sir when we come back as 144,000 yeah. right think about it it ain't gonna just be us right. how is the other people gonna come back with us we're gonna have to put seat unless you don't believe we're gonna have sex in <laughs> how the hell are we gonna get more more of our That's people right. back <laughs> it would have to be our spirit the souls don't die so it have to be our people coming back. Yep. Think about it. Now, now we're gonna have said we're just gonna create a whole new spirit, a whole new genealogy. The Lord have already created everything. That's right. That's he right. made all things for himself. Yes, sir. He's already cut the yes, job. Yes, he sir. already wrote the book. That's right. Right? Yeah. And we're just we're living in the <laughs> book and we're at the end of the book. Right? Uh read that. Yep. Uh, and y'all get through this, you know, real quick. Yeah, the last yeah, yeah. break it down. This is a uh, Luke chapter sixteen, oh. and it says, the, "Here we go." The rich man and Lazarus, sixteen and nineteen. This is Luke chapter sixteen and nineteen. Let's go into the story of Lazarus. It says, "Now this is for you to hear, brother. If you're spiritual, you're receiving. Because really, when you look read that, it's like in a carnal manner, but it's a spiritual thing." Go ahead. Yep. It says there were was a certain rich man which was clothed in purple and fine linen. Really, the health doctrine is a Roman Catholic doctrine, by the way. This is not a rich man. And fair. Some put some put some some every day. Right. Every day. Yep. And there was a certain beggar named Lazarus. Right. Right. How did they get rich? Off of us the back of slavery. Right. So that's talking about Esau. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Which was laid at his gate, full of swords. It says, That's It says, and desired to be fed with the crumbs which fell from the rich man's table. Right. Back in, back in, see these people, they, they, they eat good every day, right? And they have the, the, the uh, ability to, to alleviate a lot of the problems that's in the world right now, right? Uh, right now, we got to beg for them to, to have everything, right? We, we talk about the curses and all that stuff. We are the yeah. curses. Yes. Right. Mm -hmm. It says, moreover, the dogs came and licked his sword. Right, and that's talking about these other nations. These other nations that come into our neighborhoods, they stores. shut up the, the, the stores and stuff like that. We just talked about it earlier. Black owned businesses don't 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 work for shit. You know? Go ahead. It says and what happens when the dog licks swords? Oh, yeah. Yeah. The dog heal. Yeah. Oh, yeah. They can't heal because they heed it. Ah. They got Kimmy's uh yeah. food restaurant. And they use black women to cook the food, and she then once the they learn, then they fire them and start up on the new management. And they're the ones that sell us that pork and that MSG and, and all the gelatin and all that shit in the food, man. Right? That's right. Yeah, what you say, brother? That's right. Chicken trout. Yeah. That's fucking heathens. Yeah, we're going to get our hands on it. We're going to make them just as much as I hate Esau. Yeah. They just under the authority of the yeah. mm -hmm. They won't get this. Yeah. It says, and it came to pass that the beggar died. Oh. Right. And was carried by the angels into Abraham's bosom. Mm -hmm. Right. That, you know, you could equate that to resurrection. Yeah. Being in the kingdom. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Go ahead. It says, the rich man also died. Mm -hmm. right. But here we go. <laughs> Obadiah, right here, brother. You read Obadiah, right? All right. It says, and was buried and in hell he lift up his eyes being in torment yep. and see if abraham that that hell goes back to a condition right hell you ever see that was really cold outside he said it's cold as hell out here yeah why do we say that we know hell has to represent fire but why we represent it to cold because it's an affliction <laughs> push push Ain't no push. Yeah. 
You got it. Yeah, 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 What's gonna happen is they can come back. Uh -huh. <laughs> oh, oh, that's a good one. Good, brother. Yeah, glad you brought that out. Hey, he just says that. Yeah, and he just said that. that that's a good one. Yeah. How are they gonna get paid back? Yeah. You mean to tell me? Hold that real quick. <laughs> Grandma, thirty and sixteen. Go ahead. Real quick. Ahead. This, right. this stuff. This stuff can lead down yeah. up. Yeah. A road of yeah. yeah. That's what makes that it nice. Good. Spirit. Man. That was good. Yeah. I was, yeah. I'm Great. glad you said that. That was the yeah. spirit, spirit, brother. Great. Here we go. This is Jeremiah, thirty and sixteen. Here we go. It says, "Therefore, all they that devour thee shall be devoured." And all thine sir adversaries, every one of them, shall go into captivity. How the hell are they going to go into captivity burning in hell? Somebody got to explain that. Makes sense. Right? Right? He said it makes sense, right? I said 14 and 1 real quick. Yep, yep. How does that happen? Somebody got to be the slave. Right. Yep. Contrary to what our people believe, they're, they're over us, but we're going to be over them. No longer are we going to be doing effeminate behavior, man. Thank like you. Like you see us doing. Water, yeah, please. Yeah, thank you. Water. Our, our, our men are going to shine over women. Yes. Well, really, we're going to shine together over yes. the other nations. Yes. Right. Go ahead, read that Isaiah 14 and 1. This is Isaiah 14 and 1. Here we go. For the Lord will have mercy on Jacob and will yet choose Israel and set them in their own land, and the strangers shall be joined with them. The strangers are talking about other Israelites. Go ahead. And they shall cleave to the house of Jacob. Oh, go ahead, brother. I can step oh, in. Go ahead. Go ahead. Oh, it's great. Go ahead. Go ahead. That song is good. Uh, read on. Yep. It says, and the people shall take them and bring them to their place. Right. And the house of Israel shall possess them in the land of the Lord. Who is he going to possess if they all burning in hell? We got to finish up Lazarus. Cut that. <laughs> I cut it off, man. The brother was <laughs> But that came out. Yeah, that, that, that adds on. That adds on. Yes, sir. Yeah. Yeah. It says that I said if you would have ran down a little bit more, it says they're going to be gathered and thrown into a pit. Peter, who's serving to have it? Oh, well, is it still in there? I swear oh, yeah. I got cut it off. Yeah. It says, uh, here we go. It says, yeah, it says, and the Lord, and then Israel shall possess them in the land of the Lord for servants and handmaids. Who's the them? Now, nations. if you're teaching that the other nations are going to be slaves, they would have to come back. But I know how you're going to see they teach that we're going to get the other Edomites. Well, remember, they got to serve a thousand years. Well, how are they coming back if they're going to burn in hell when they die? That doesn't make sense. Go back to Lazarus. And then we're going to close up, man. We've been out here too long. <laughs> yep. It's going up all the spirit of the Lord. The spirit, man. It's all the uh, spirit of the Lord. <laughs> yep. This is uh, back to Lazarus, Luke 16. And uh, I was at 22. It here said, we go. And it came to pass that the beggar died and was carried by the angel into Abraham's bosom. The rich man also died and was buried. It says, and he in hell, he lifted up his eyes, being in torment, and seeth Abraham afar off, and in Lazarus, and Lazarus in his bosom. It says, and he cried and said, Father Abraham, have mercy on me, and send Lazarus, that he may dip the tip of his finger into water, and it and cool my tongue. Yeah, because these devils are gonna be in slavery. And they'd be lucky if they get some water or whatever, man. Just <laughs> right. bring some hell on that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that going to extreme thirst and yeah. one. Remember how we are one of all things? Yes. Yeah. The yeah. scriptures in Revelation 18 said, double unto her according to her works. Woo! They're going to be in more torment. Right. Man, we were in hell. Woo! Rob, steal, and kill. They're going to be begging for that. You imagine being out in the sun right. with <laughs> no melanin? Can you believe being in the sun with no melanin? Farming out crops. Man, they're going to have blisters. Man. You got to pay the piper, buddy. Yeah, you got to pay the piper. Man. 
And then he took our children yeah. and sold them afar off. Yeah. And guess what? As Joel 3 said, we're going to sell the children. Yeah. Right. We're going to do the same thing that you That's right. You dashed our heads, our children's heads against the stone. Yep. Well, guess what? It's coming back around. Right. They said, I'll break their damn teeth. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Now, one of the things, so like Go ahead, bro. one of the things, we're going to know. See, the Lord, the Lord took a, a lot of those captivities from us, man. You know, we're in coronation. We're going to know with these, who these devil are, who we are, and all that stuff. Every last one of what and you they got did it. to us, you can, and they're going to get that shit, man. <laughs> and after a thousand years, uh, um, uh, Obadiah says the house of 1 and 18, the house of Esau shall be a stubble. Oh, yeah, verse 18. <laughs> the house of Esau shall be a stubble. He should, and he's going to serve a thousand years. It might be longer. Yeah, right. But guess what? A thousand years today is fast. But in that day, that thousand years is going to be long. Remember, he shortened the days. It's going to be long. They got And they got to go through generations, so they're going to be born. Going up to the spirit world, coming back. You know, you know how we cry is, uh, is, is, is babies when we come down. You know, our children is like they cry the most when they come down. Yeah. Remember, Tupac said, "My only fear of death is coming back." Yep. Come on, when I'm white baby, you know, white babies come back. Oh boy, and guess what? If you a so called black Edomite, you know, you're gonna go back to your old natural habitat. Yep. You gonna have yes. 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 Look at the time. Yes. This dog, you be like that. Yes. You don't even sometimes you don't even be flying. Right. You be thinking that these days are long. Right. Contrary to what people believe, we're gonna have concubines too. Yes, sir. Yep. Yeah. Other the other groups don't teach that. Oh. And we say that a white woman's gonna be a concubine. You know it. Or other heathens. Nah, yeah. nah, we're not supposed to leave it to heathen. That's because they're appealing them damn black women. Facts. Meanwhile, the black woman's laying with every white man she can get her hands on. Right? Facts! Yep. And you're right, though. It, it do be flying because as soon as you and get you off, it'd be like you got your, your alarm clock ringing. Yeah. Go right back in the <laughs> yeah. I ain't gonna lie, man. The months be going by so quick. I'd be like, damn, this yeah. is over with already? Yeah. What the hell? Yeah. yeah, like, what the hell? I just started school. We're already in fourth quarter. Right. Right, T. Yeah. Right. That's how you know the word. <laughs> 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 You got some UA, uh, UAC pants on this shit. <laughs> I like it, brother. I mean, the country. It said Lurch. It said Lurch. Right? One of his soldiers was up here. The other yeah. was down there. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> like, God damn, maybe he grew wrong or something. <laughs> yes. He said how he was running and shit. Shoulders and shit. Like, I couldn't even make that up. Shit. Tell one of us brothers to try to run like that. I guarantee we'll hurt ourselves. <laughs> like, uh, you know, here this long. <laughs> yeah, we got to run like that. We got to close up, brother. Hey, well, with that, Lord, what is this satisfying? <laughs> we want to give all praises on that point, too. Yeah. Yeah. I was about to shoot you. I was about to shoot you. I was about to shoot you. So long, number one, flubber, boss. So long, number one, flubber, boss.